Now I'm going to make a, a button using the if then commands. I've got a button for tonometry. One's if I use eye care, one's if I do Goldman tonometry. When I push this button, I want it to put the time in here and put the type, either eye care or Goldman, and then I will enter the readings. Okay, so we're going to go to edit medical records. And let me move this over here. Go to this this here. Okay, and the button, I want to find out what button it is. I'm going to do the eye care. The eye care button is 1017. I think that's actually the Goldman button. Oh, that is 1017. Okay, so I've got um, this eye care button and a Goldman button. And what I want it to do is when I hit eye care, I want it to look at the uh, IOP1 column, and if there's nothing entered in there, I want to enter the time and I care under the type. If there is already a reading in there, I want to put it under the IOP2. So the first thing I'm going to do is look and see if field 1019, that's the right eye IOP, see if there's a value in there. If there's not, then I'm going to set the time and the, to the current time and the type to I care. If there's something in there, then I'm going to come over here and set the time um, 1024 and the type 1027 to eye care. So you add a command, if then, and this really should be just an if, but if then field 1019, that's the pressure. If that's empty, so I gotta save that, and then you do the then part. If, if 1019 is empty, then I want to set field 1018, which is the time, to the current time. Each if can only have one then, so you have to do it again. If, if then 1019 is empty, I want to set 1021, that's the uh, tonometry type field, to value I care. Okay. And then you're going to save that. All right. Then I need to do the next step if it's if it's got something in there. Okay. So if 1019 has a value, okay, then I want to go over to 1024 and set that to the current time. Okay. And if it has a value. 1019 has a value. I want to set 1027 to I care. I care. Okay. Now let's save this. No. And go back and test it. Okay, so now we're here at the screen and we hit I care. There's nothing in there, so I hit I care. It puts the current time and the type. Okay. And just to show you, I've already done the button. Now, what I'm looking at when in this function is I'm looking at the uh, reading in the right eye on IOP1. So this button is set up to do the same thing. Look at the first one and put the time in Goldman. Since I haven't put a pressure reading in here, it's going to overwrite that and put Goldman. Here, if I had a pressure in here when I hit this button, now that's filled in, so it should put that information in IOP2. And then I can go in and put the pressure readings that I want. The thing about if-thens is that you can only do one item for each condition. So you have to keep doing it over and over again. So if the condition doesn't have an either-or, you can't really use this function.